Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Vandal Hearts 2, when we last left off. We squared off with our old friend the Warden at Apos Port, and were separated from Yuri and the Prince. Uh, so now, to avoid capture, and to catch up with Yuri, we are s somehow going the opposite direction that we're supposed to go. I'm not real sure how this is going to work out for us. Uh, but, well, the story tells us that we're supposed to go to the Tehapi Dunes. So we're going to do that. And today, at the Tahapi Dunes, we're going to be fighting a boss battle. Thankfully, it's not very hard. Gotta watch what you're doing, but it's definitely not very hard. We have to defeat all enemies. And... Because of H.C. Bailey, every time I hear the words crab legs, I will think of flan. So anyway, um... Let's see, we kind of want... You know what? No, let's more or less stay... Back. We're not, I don't want to go up front. The reason I don't want to go up front is I want some of the legs to come to me. Now, the reason I say that is you can actually go out there if you st over here in the corner. You can actually move far enough to hit them with spells. But the way my guys uh, are set up, I actually can't kill all the legs in time. So that kind of leaves my mages sort of hanging in the breeze. And, uh, well, that'd be bad. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you. here and do this earn that SP and you I'm gonna move here you don't have anything to learn okay uh, there are no items on this map, by the way. Alright. You... Gonna do this. Get some rah-rah going. Alright. hasn't gone. Joshua hasn't gone. Oh. That one didn't really move. Let's move Joshua down there to give him a target. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you gotta be watchful of these crab legs because they all have poison marks. They're also, by the way, strong against fire, so I don't want to use... Huh. So I don't want to use that. Let's go ahead and use Thunderbolt on that guy. Oh man, he can't quite reach. Okay, we'll just wait. Alright. Tech. No, not wait. Tech. Blizzard. They are weak to ice, so that's nice. 
Let's move one more space forward. So I can hit that third guy. There we go. So if you move too far forward in the first turn, those claws will actually gang up on you and there's pretty much nothing you can do. They're going to kill somebody. Pratu might be able to finish them off with a dark moon. Let me see. I can get a good number of them with that spell. That's pretty good. And I got the main body. Now, uh, each claw has 104 HP, is weak to ice, strong against fire. Uh, and the main body has the same, I think, elemental weaknesses and strengths. Oh man, I didn't kill it. Uh, but it has 300 HP. So, kind of a battle. Alright. Of course, unlike the claws, I don't think he can move. Yeah, he can't move. He can pretty much only do physical attacks and... Uh, what else? He's got fire dance, and that's it. So, yep. If you stay away from him, he can't really do anything to you. Alright, let me see. I think you went first last time. Actually, you know what? Let's do this again. Aha, guard. Lucky guard, too. Basically, I just hedged my bets, and it really paid off. Nice. Alright, I'm going to move you here, and I'm just going to swing this Cavera. Yeah, I really don't want to get poisoned. Poison Mark seems to work more often than the actual poison spell. Uh, and I thankfully can actually cure poison, but that still doesn't mean I want to be poisoned. Let's finish this guy off, hopefully. At least do some damage. Dang. Oh, it did. Okay, good. I was hoping that slight height advantage would give him some extra damage. And it did. What do you got? I'm just going to do a stab. A little boring, but, you know, whatever. I do like the way that javelin looks. And you can't reach anybody. So I'm going to move you here and wait. I don't want to do that. You can't reach anybody, so we're going to wait. Like I said, this boss battle is pretty easy. Uh, especially if you don't just rush in. If you rush in, like I said, you can, you're probably going to lose somebody. But if you just hang back a turn, really they can't do anything. Uh, let me see. I think it's probably more important that I kill... Yeah, I think it's more important that I damage the three limbs. Since they can actually move, it makes them much more of a threat. Alright, uh...
Let's move here, and this time I will actually damage the... the body because, well, I was expecting one of those guys to go after her, and I was correct. It's correct a mundo. Can you both get... No, you can't get her. In fact, you can't get anybody. You, however... Now, the one thing to note is that those uh, limbs are incredibly heavy. Oh, darn. Oh, nice. Lucky guard. Second one for the map, I do believe. But anyway, those limbs are incredibly heavy. Uh, you're not going to be able to knock them back. I think they weigh like something like 300. Yeah, 300. Uh, how much does Vlad weigh? Yeah, 207. Yeah, there's absolutely no way that you're going to be able to knock those guys back. Let's see, just punch it. Hmm. I'll get the free damage in. What? Oh man, I hate it when they do that. Okay. Uh. One thing that I really don't like about these guys is I'm not real sure which side's the front, which side's the back. Fairly certain that this is me attacking the sides, but mm, can't be too sure. All right, and I guess to finish it off, a spell. I think I'm probably gonna soften him up with. Uh, all of my ranged moves and then move my fighters in and just finish him off. Let's see, action tech. Lizard. Then he'll waste his turn and take a butt load of damage. Actually, I might kill him. Depending on how much damage that bow and arrow does, that might just outright kill him. Nah, there's no way it's going to do 70. Forty-nine. That's still pretty respectable. Okay, who hasn't learned a skill? You got yours. You got yours. You're good. Okay, you're good. Cool. Alright, let's see. I think I'm going to go with you. And you know what? We're going to look at tri Triple Jab. That was only one jab. I feel lied to. Anyway, a fairly easy, 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 easy victory. 
Get a nice, nice haul of money. And we're going to get some more story afterwards. Uh, although we are not quite done yet with this map. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. This little subplot here with Yuri is actually setting up one of the most... I, I'm not going to say interesting, but it is definitely the weirdest plot twist in the Vandal Heart series. So, are you... Opening the doors to a religious site or summoning an old one. It would have been a nice twist if uh, Saint Nervoth was actually like Cthulhu, an ancient one, the corpse god from uh, Eternal Darkness. <laughs> Or maybe that uh, fifth yellow god. Ooh, maybe he was an old one. What's going on here? Oh, it's Godard. Hold on, there's a big old cricket. <laughs> On my leg. Okay, it's off now. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, Godard. Godard, meet Yuri. Yuri, meet Godard. Godard likes to teleport, apparently. Uh, a little more devious than we thought he was and I guess I guess that's what's happening with uh, yeah it's King Franz is uh, kind of reacting to the I guess mind probe that is being used on Yuri Now, I, I'm actually trying to slow down the text. Fua ha 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 ha. I'm a big fan of villains that go fua ha. Only thing that's missing from this uh, scene is, of course, Godard going, Yuri! I am your father. Fu ha 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 ha. Of course, you know, Darth Vader never teleported away. Why is it that villains in SRPGs specifically can always teleport?
Final Fantasy Tactics teleported. I mean, I I could go on naming. It just seems like that's what they do. Uh, they general purpose getaway. Now, anyway, uh, after that battle in the Tahapi Dunes, if you go back into the Tahapi Dunes, the map changes. Now, there were no items before in the Tahapi Dunes, but if you go back in there after defeating the boss, you get a different map that does have items. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole map, uh, me, me playing the whole map, but I will point out where the items are. And you can get some very important items here. So anyway, this is the secret to Hoppy Dunes map. I'm just going to hit start. Whatever, we're fine. Uh, there are two chests and two hidden items on 1017 is this chest here. And it contains map number six to the secret map, The Rock. Unfortunately, there is no Sean Connery in that map. Uh, this chest over here contains the incredibly useful Zebra Shield. Uh, zebra Shields come with the Reanimator spell, which revives dead party members. Uh, honestly, if you're going to use a Reanimator spell on somebody, put it on one of your mages, because reanimator costs a lot of MP. Now, right here is a bug eyes, and let's see, 18, no, 18, 13, right here is a another L vase. We've already gotten an L vase, but there's another one right there. So anyway, that's the items in this map. I'm going to gather them all off screen, and you can see general enemy layout here. Uh, basically, anytime you do this, the enemies will be more or less the same. They'll just have different equipment and different skills. So, there's an archer. There's a mage. Right now, he has a healing spell. Generally, if a caster has only a healing spell, uh, that doesn't typically change in my experiences. It's really only when they have actual attack magic that the variance occurs. But anyway, uh, that's the secret to Happy Dunes fight, and I will see you guys next time on Vandal Hearts 2. Bye.